There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2008 Wrestleys. Yes. And hold that up again. We have an actual statue this we time. We have an actual statue this year. And we're going to we're going to look at it as much as possible because it took me forever to make this stupid thing. <laughs> but those of you who ask for the Wrestleys, thank you. Here they are, folks. Thank you for asking because it, it we, makes had me feel we had contemplated doing this for the past month and a half. Yeah. And we uh, were wondering, do we do, do we do it? Do we do it? Do, are people going to care? We did it last year. Nobody really cared that much. So well, the first video they cared about. The second video they have cared about. The third video they like, one yeah, third cared whatever. about. <laughs> so we're going to do this in three parts again. The first two parts will be the awards. The second part will be the special award for Song of the Year and a very special final award. So stay tuned for all parts. Really, do that for me. Just for me. Not him. For me. So let's get into this thing. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna beg a little bit more. We've got, we've got to get going. Make oh, that's sure we right. Fit all this into three parts. All right. Oh, 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 oh. It must be. It must be stated. The winner of the wrestling will only be the superstar that we both agree upon. It has to be a unanimous decision. A unanimous decision on who the superstar is for them to actually win the wrestling. So let's begin, shall we? I kind of spit. <laughs> You're a little vocal there. I'm excited. Oh, right here. Yeah, nice. Let's go. I've been Let's lonely it. for so long. My only, my only company has been the Wrestle, the beautiful Wrestle. Okay, let's go. Do it. Category number one: Diva of the year. of the year. Christopher, Do you, you begin. Start? I yes, start. you begin. Uh, personally, I think it's a simple decision. I don't know what Scott's choice is, but my choice: the Glamazon Beth Phoenix. She's had the best year in the company. No one has been able to top her. And this whole shtick that she's got going with Santino right now really, you know, gives her a little bit more depth. Gives her a little bit more character. Plus, I think she's attractive. Scott. I'm going to have to say that the 2008 wrestling for Best Diva goes to the Glamazon Beth Phoenix. Yeah! Our first wrestling, we agreed finally. I would agree wholeheartedly. I think this stuff that she has done with. I probably started the year not liking her that much. But uh, yeah, the Santino stuff, brilliant. She has started shining. Definitely Diva of the Year. Mm -hmm. Category 2. That pin is really messed up. <laughs> I think somebody's been making candles with it. <laughs> All right! <laughs> Category 2. Most annoying. A superstar. Scott, you start on this one. Oh man, I, I don't think I've made you you start on this one again. Oh, okay, because I'm gonna have to I'm I'll gonna have start to think again. about it. To me, the choice is obvious. John Bradshaw Layfield. <sighs> I hate him. I've always hated him. I think he's incredibly annoying. He doesn't belong in the main event. Never has, in my opinion. That's just mine. I know. Obviously, somebody in the WWE disagrees with me on that, but. I think he's annoying. I think he's a big ball of flab, even though he's starting to get himself in some, some better shape. But oh, yes. He actually has. He's lost some weight. If anybody can do a side-by-side -side comparison, if you have the technology, I would love to see the re-debut versus the current. But I think he's annoying. Oh, okay. He's always involved in the main event, and it's undeservedly so. That is my choice for most annoying superstar of the year. Scott. I'm going to have to disagree. And there aren't a lot of superstars that really annoy me. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, okay. I've got two. But I'll go ahead and I'll go with my main one. Jack Swagger. Don't like the guy. Don't like the look of him. <laughs> I don't like the way he walks. I don't like the stupid thing he does with his arms. I don't like the fact that his eyes don't open all the way. So Jack Swagger, we disagree. I don't know much about Jack Swagger, but... but I really wish I could give this wrestling to you, Jack Swagger. But <laughs> Sorry, buddy. not going to happen this Can't year. Can't happen. Category Trey, Tag Team of the Year. Go ahead. I think it's obvious. Miz and Morrison. Sorry. Yeah, come on, come on. I'm gonna have to go ahead and say it. 2008. Wrestling Wesley for Tag, Tag team, team of the Year goes to the Miz and John Morrison. Miz and John Morrison. <laughs> I think they've had a stellar year. Again, like Beth Phoenix, so I started the year not so crazy about the whole Miz and Morrison pairing, but I think they have really... 
I have to agree. I mean, I'm not fond of either one of them, but as far as tag teams, as far as tag teams go, they are clearly the best. No one has outperformed You're them. Not, I mean, seriously. I'm really not. Sorry. I know that breaks your heart, and it breaks the hearts of a lot of other others out there. But, but nevertheless, they are now the t the world tag team champions, two time Slammy award winning, and the Wrestling award winning. So, guys, this is for you. And I will hand deliver this <laughs> to uh, <laughs> to the. Okay. <laughs> Just give me your contact information, right? All right. How are we on time? We're oh, good. beautiful. Good and wonderful. Category tray. Quar. <laughs> Quar? <laughs> Three. I'm trying to be smart about this. Four. Quar. <laughs> Quar. <laughs> Rookie of the year. I'll start this one. Go ahead. I feel like it's a clear choice, and I feel that the front office would agree with me. Young Mr. Evan Bourne. At one point, he was a marketing something in marketing. <laughs> and then yeah. now he is a wrestler. I think he's exciting. I think he's got everything except for except for the acting ability. But they've got Freddie Prince Jr. back there behind the curtain. Which one does <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna work on that. But I think Evan Bourne, I, I I think he's the before he got injured, arguably the most exciting superstar in the WWE. So Evan Bourne Here's to you. Let's see what Chris says. Rookie of the year, Chris. Rookie we of the a, year. We need a unanimous decision. Rookie of the year. Mm. Mm. Who would you so say? So many choices. Manu? I was going to say Braden Walker, but... Yeah, he just it didn't work out. It didn't, didn't work, work out. out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to have to go ahead and say it. The 2008 <gasps> Rassley Award-winning Rookie of the Year goes to... Evan, Evan Bourne. Bourne. Evan For you, buddy. That's right. No, I have to agree wholeheartedly. If you... I haven't seen a whole lot of Evan Bourne this year, but what I have seen, I've enjoyed thoroughly. I think Vladimir Koslov winning the Slammy was complete crap. It was, it was it for was, story reasons. Yes, it was for story reasons. This is for you, Evan. You deserve it, buddy. We'll, we'll, uh... We'll make we'll, sure you get one of these. Yeah, we'll put a little, little pair of crutches on your, on your mm -hmm. wrestling and we'll send it right your way. <laughs> All right. How about this will be the last one, last for, this, one, last for, one. for part one. Most disappointing moment of the year. You want me to start? Go ahead and start. I'll start. Because mine is going to be a shock. My Maybe. most disappointing moment of the year occurred back in February. Oh, no. Jeff Hardy's 60-day suspension for drugs. It was a disappointment to me. And more so because I was looking forward to seeing him at WrestleMania. Yes. Because we went. Did not happen. Did not see, see him. I was incredibly disappointed. That was my most disappointing moment of the year. All right. My most disappointing moment, I kind of went a different direction. And I know most of you will disagree with this. My most disappointing moment of the year was the handling and subsequent release of Mike Adamley. Here's what I think. I think Mike Adamley, as this incompetent announcer, was so funny. I don't know if he was doing it on purpose or if he was really just that stupid. I think it started, I think it started with him being that stupid and then they just built on it. And they played on it brilliantly. Uh -huh. When they took him away from Taz, that was the first mistake. Because I thought they really could have done some stuff there with Adamley as the idiot. But they didn't. Then the general manager thing never worked out. He had the clipboard, which <laughs> had his lines, and of course they'd cut away so he could go, and then screw the names up. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so anyway, Mike Adamley, God bless you, buddy. Well, I, I gotta, I, I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm kind of happy that I don't have to give this to Jeff for being a screw for up. Being a screw up. <laughs> <laughs> so that will end part, part one, one of the wrestlies. Stay tuned for part two. Please do it. Please, please come back. Oh. And we got some more wrestling action coming up. <laughs>